Oh, there you are. Okay, today I would like to show you what I have done with my Pulus underwater housing for the iPhone 15. Originally, this came for the iPhone 14 and the um, lens arrangement is a little bit bigger than on the 14. So I had to file that hole out just a little bit on one corner to make the iPhone 15 fit into it. And it fits in nicely, so there is absolutely no problem. Put it in there, close it down, which you need a little bit of force to do so. And it all works very well. The, the seal is absolutely marvelous. Don't get it now. And you have three um, tripod connections. One for this one and one for the safety um, string. I use a 15 kilo fishing line times four, two loops, and I'm going through this holder and put it onto, onto this one. Not this part, but this part. Just in case, you know, I don't want that telephone disappear to the depth. Now, that is my new holder I use for something I can reach easily, like a little pond or whatever, where I want to do um, little pictures, or little movies, and a um, little stream or something like that where this is sufficient. And I can take that with me on my travels. Whereby this monster here, this is a 4.7 meter pole, telescope pole, for cleaning purposes. I had a brush attachment on the front, which I took off and glued a tripod attachment into it with epoxy and also the safety strap for the, for the underwater housing. Now, before you spend any money on it and you're going out to do that, you know the old um, thing is, what could go wrong? I think that was, was it Clarkson who did that? I think so, yeah. Um, I had it all done, all set up nicely, everything was working well. And um, here in Darwin, the water is that murky that you cannot see <coughs> sorry that you cannot see anything really it's not good so um, all this now stays here and yeah okay maybe I can use it as a pole hold it up in the air or something like that I don't sure but this is why I bought that one anyhow what I had done I took that um, phone holder off and because we don't need it so I put this screw in and then I screw this um, underwater housing onto it. Needed a little bit of filing on that and a little bit of attachment here and I filled this area in to make it a bit stronger. I used some epoxy to fill it in and now I can take that with, that with me onto my travels. Good. So much for that. So when you get an underwater housing, the main thing is make sure that where you want to use it, the water is clear. Yeah, it's not always, it doesn't work always the way you wanted it. Okay guys, so much for that. See you on the next one. Have fun, see you later, bye bye.